Hey, and welcome back. Um, are we live? If someone can confirm that we are live and someone can see us, is uh, if someone can confirm it on the chat that we are on the chat that we are live, so we can see. One second. Hey, okay, so I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, we're going to start, so I'm super nervous about it, and this is uh, my first time doing a live stream, so I hope all go well, and I uh, hope you enjoy it, so if you guys can uh, confirm or text or do something about it, like that we know we are live. So um, basically, um, what we're going to do, what we're going to talk about is material, lighting, environment, settings, and post-production. Everything is going to be in VRA. And if you have any questions, we'll do some stops for questions, and uh, we'll talk about that. So uh, let's see what we have. We have um, uh, this as the R scene, and if you want to download it, so I'll drop a... Uh, I'll drop the, all the links and uh, we, we, I'll drop all the links in the, in the comment, in the chat. So if you guys um, want to download So you guys can download uh, the scene from the So I see we have a problem with the sound, I'm sorry about that, I can't really fix it now So since we are started. So uh, I'm going to, uh, for some reason I don't know why I can't uh, I see why. Okay, so I want to only take the link for the warehouse. So if you want to have the model and participate with this, this is the first time, as I said, so maybe we'll have some problems. But this is the link for the model. So uh, let's jump right into it. I'm sorry about all the, um, uh, in the inconvenient. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is materials. So the way we're going to do the materials is um, what we're going to do is, uh, uh, let's see what we got here. So we're going to start with uh, some, the basic materials. So this scene you can download from 3D Warehouse, as I just said. But I want to start with uh, some really basic materials, and then we'll take it for the more more advanced materials. So for the basic materials, we have here uh, stuff that we can use that we get with V-Ray 3.4, and we have here the uh, all kind of stuff like brick and um, metal, copper, foam, a lot of stuff here that we can use. So the first thing we um, the the material we're going to use here is uh, let's try to use the material. So basically, we have the scene. Basically, we have this scene, and we let's talk about the material. The, um, let's talk about the the scene a little bit. 
So this is a living room scene and we have like a backyard here and some grass here and we have uh, all those kind of materials and you want to um, put some colors in it. So for that um, I usually recommend if you saw my video um, on, uh, on the last video on how to uh, my process designing. So I use Pinterest a lot so I create like um, a folder for this uh, and this calls live 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 here it is. so I added some photos to get inspiration and I highly recommend to uh, see and I really like this uh, color palette so we'll try to do something it won't look exactly like this maybe the floor will be in this color so we, we're trying i like this um this color this uh this uh nice bluish color so that's my um i'm going to try to put it here on the sofa and to try to make it all work all the colors basically the colors we're going to use is going to be uh some gold and black and very uh solid materials like uh um, not too much colors but because this is the first uh, work we're doing and I'm trying to keep it simple that's the point keep it simple I'm a little bit nervous so I'm sorry if it comes down in my voice but I'm sure if I will do it more often it'll be more uh, simple for me so the first material I think um, just uh, if you're not familiar with V-Ray so this is the Vira editor and what Vira did, they put everything inside this box and here we have all the list of materials that already we have in the scene. So basically this scene, I tried not to use it, not to start anything here, I just put everything together and that's it. And uh, we have here all, the, all our, um, all our uh, materials that we have in the scene. And here we have like a small arrow that Vira gives us some materials that we can use to our project. And uh, on this side, we have the more advanced um, material editor. So, uh, and here we have like a quick, uh, uh, quick settings. So we're going to start with, uh, I think the, the simple uh, material. So for me, uh, simple, I have the paint bucket. I, I click, I press the alt and I get the sampler. So now I can sample, um, a material so I sample this material this is the frame and we have the same material here for for the sofa legs and also for the sofa legs here um, we can change it we might change it to like a wood material something more um, more nice for the scene but for this point we'll start with this so uh, um, what we have here we have the black and you see it's very solid so uh, for this material we're going to use the quick settings this is the easiest way to uh, do a material so basically we have the diffuse here we can change all the colors so this is the diffuse here we have the reflection so if I add reflection we have like a glass coat on it so this is the reflection uh, to add the reflection and after that we have the refraction refraction we don't have in this material because this is like aluminum glass something a little bit sh uh, shiny here we have the IOR underneath we have the IOR IOR is the index of refraction so some materials are more reflection some material are less reflection like metal has a high IOR and that will do um, we'll play with that maybe a little bit and uh, and diff and a different material here we'll just we'll put a, a little bit up so here if we if we put the reflection up and we put the IOR up you get like a chrome and if you put it down you barely can see if you put it underneath then one so it comes like w really weird but if you want something like to have a little bit of reflection so you put it like around one Fog color we're not going to use in this one and glossiness is also a pretty important one so if you want it not to be so shiny you want it a little bit rough you can take down the glossiness down to like pretty solid stuff. Um, a bump is uh, we can add a, um, a bump 
to this uh, this material and that will make uh, some bumpy we're not going to add it for this material and uh, underneath the last one is the opacity this is to make it tra transparent but we're not going to use it so let's start with the black uh, aluminum so uh, reflection we don't need uh, we we don't need so much um, IOR and we can take down the glossiness down now what happens if we want a really black so the IOR because it has a lot of reflect reflection reflection it's um, makes it like gray and we want a pretty black so we want to take it down to like maybe one point I'll say 1.35 even though I know uh, aluminum it has more reflection and uh, we can put on the reflection up a little bit and uh, get some it's basically what you see if you like it that's the, that's uh, that's the way that you can do it but like there is a lot of ways to do it I'm not saying my way is the right way but this is this is how I like to do aluminum uh, simple aluminum so basically uh, a quick summary I put it at reflection and then on the IOR I take it down uh, I, to uh, 1.35 and then glossiness I put it down to 1.35 basically this is the aluminum and this is what going to be on the black metal okay so the next material we're going to do is the wall the wall is also a pretty simple um, pretty simple uh, material so uh, what we want to have on the wall we want basically to have some uh, basically you want to have uh sorry I, i'm checking i'm checking the 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 stream if it's going okay okay so basically we have some problems with the stream i can see that and i'm sorry about that this is the first first time i'm doing it and uh, uh, let me just put something to uh, on the, on the on the chair. Let me put something uh, to um, Second, I'm sorry about all the inconvenient. Um, I having some. Uh, okay, sorry, we're back. Okay, so for for the wall, um, the way I I I I found to do it the best is to have like a very small amount of reflection or to put down the IOR to 1.1 or something like that so we don't have it too reflection uh, too reflective or something like that not too much no uh, we don't need a lot of reflection there and uh, regarding the um, regarding the the color so here it's a little bit grayish it's hard to see but like if you want a more gray or something like that you can do it like a little bit more and by the way if you are following or uh, going or along and everything and you want uh, you want to uh, when when it's after that you render and you choose the different colors and you want to share it so you can share it on my Facebook page or you can send it to me and I'll share it on the Facebook page and I said I put the link for my Facebook page and uh, description and I want also to thank uh, SketchUp Texture for featuring this on their page I really appreciate it 
So basically, um, a little bit of reflection, IOR uh, low, not a high IOR, and then uh, glossiness also to take down, um, so we don't have a lot of glossiness. So this is something we can play um, with, and maybe we can put some more, um, put some more, uh, one sec, uh, more, uh, more, more uh we can put more uh we can change it later sorry about that yeah I, i'm trying to do a lot of stuff together and i'm i'm not the best of doing stuff together you know i have that the man thing that i can do more than one thing together okay so um uh, for for this for the legs and this material is going to be on 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 the chair leg and also on on this uh, small uh small uh, table and also on this lamp so basically this is a lamp that I designed and uh, I had a challenge and I was trying to do uh, 30 lamps and um, uh, I need to get back to it and make more lamps but if you want to download this you, need, you can go to the page I have here a bunch of all kind of lamps that I designed and uh, you can download them they're all ready for V-Ray 3.4 so um, if that's interest uh, you. So this I wanted to have some gold. So we have here two options. The first option is to use the, the gold that um, SketchUp brings us. So I found uh, we can make the icons a little bit bigger because this is pretty small and we can change it a little bit so we can see. And I find the blurry gold works the best. Now I'm not, I'm not a big fan you know, go to the material list and I'm not a big fan on the colors of this gold and you have different kinds but just the blurry gold I find it works the best so the way to change a material um, it's pretty simple you sample it after you sample it there is a few ways but I'm going to show you one way and then we'll, we'll see a different one you right click it and you select all objects and scene so now you can see everything that has this gold material that I want is selected. You can also see here the table. And then we added the gold and it's gold blurry. So we go to gold blurry one. This is our material. And I'm going to do apply material to selection. So now you see it changed all the, all the color also in the view. And so that basically means that now this is uh, the gold that we see. Now let's see on the settings what we can change a little bit. So um, what I don't really like about it, it's first of all it's too shiny for me so I like to have it a little bit more blurry and if you can see the color here is a little bit too yellow or something like that. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm going to tweak it a little bit and you guys can uh, tweak it uh, the way you want so uh, let's say uh, I like I like it to be like less flashy like more more I feel like this is a little bit too flashy and we can there is a lot of ways to make gold so uh, I just sample um, till I find like a, a color that I like uh yeah this i like those more better the a little bit more or uh orange let's try and see uh, this is way off <laughs> uh i feel like so here let's go on this here this one will be um, let's see Okay, so this is this is good, but this is also too flashy. It's almost the same than what we got. I want to take the glossiness a little bit, um, and I'll try to take it a little bit down the highlight a little bit. Okay, so this is the kind of gold I like. It's a little bit strong for me, the reflection here, but I'm ju just going to leave it like that for now. This is a nice gold, it's a solid gold, it's a material that V-Ray made, so basically those materials are pretty good and um, because uh, V-Ray made it and they're like super professional. So um, 
let's continue. So we have the gold. And um, for this, um, I, didn't, I didn't really choose a, a material yet. So it could be or white, uh, some white uh, marble, or maybe we can do, uh, I, think, I think a white marble will be very nice for here. Maybe like uh, Kalakata gold, Karakata. Um, sorry if I'm saying it, I'm butchering the word, but um, so basically this is the material. And we want to add, uh, we want to add a material. So um, if you, uh, you, uh, I'm going to use some materials from my library. But after that, after the session over, I'll post it or I'll post it on my Facebook page so you guys can uh, can use the the material. So um, I'm going to open, uh, I'm going to open the material tab and under uh, where is all my materials uh, I'm going to find my uh, word. okay and the the one that I like to use for Kalakata gold is this one even though it's not tiled it's uh, uh, it's the same material you see I have a problem here because it's the same material with uh, the wall so I am going to um, I'm going to color it with a, a color, and I want to show you a problem that I, I had with uh, I I think it's not a big problem, but like they know about it and they made it. Um, so basically, if I color it like I used to do it like this, I used to make materials like this, just color in a random color, and then when I come to the very part, I just upload um, upload a um, a, a a material so this is the material we're going to use what happened is it doesn't connect to the to the V-Ray you can see on my V-Ray editor, editor it's still the material is still pink and this is not what I want so um, what I wanted what I found it it's a little bit of a problem and um, but I believe if you save the file and then you open it, so it does come to be the material. I don't know, something like that. I don't know exactly how it works, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it here. Um, I'm going to uh, bitmap and then go to the same, uh, the same path and go to the materials and choose the material, uh, the, the marble material that I want. Uh, once I here I found it this one it's very nice and I'll go back and now we have it here and we also have it here so basically if you want the problem is now it's squashed and it's square so after we have it in V-Ray the way it's going to be UV mapped the way it's going to be on the surface it's by what you see on the SketchUp so basically this is how it's going to be and this is pretty bad because this if you can see the photo here is like long and it's squashed to a square so what I usually do I I, I click here and ignore it because I'm very very remembers that that the material and now I upload it I know it's a little bit um, I'm just showing you stuff that you can maybe bump into and maybe you, you may be in your process. So I'm, I'm sharing with you the way I, I found to work and uh, stuff, how I solving the problems. Maybe there is other ways. I'm not saying mine's is the best. So now the, the tiling is pretty small, so I want to put it up maybe to 150. That's way too much. Let's do 100. I like this. This looks really good. has the gold very very nice and um, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, take this pla uh, flak and also play, paint it like this but I'm going to sample the color from here and paint it uh, we have a problem here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the texture and um, basically um, because the model was uh, resized uh, I resize the model so for the model um, the size that that uh, the size that the the tile here 
won't work for here so what I'm going to do is basically hand change it so here uh, this is like that and now I'm going to sample this and paint all the other so we have here um, this nice now uh, this nice material now something that I like to do and I have a whole tutorial explaining why this is the right to do is if you don't have this plugin round corner plugin this plugin is uh, very good for V-Ray and it makes the everything more realistic even if you just put a, a small bevel the only problem is once you do it it's very hard to modify the table the the ge geometric so let's say if we had here a table and then we want to to I don't know resize it or something like that then we'll have a problem but now we're happy with the shape so we're going to do uh, we're going to uh, ch check the round corner so uh, for something like this I think 0 0.1 is enough and I'm going to select all the all the object and I see here because I see it doesn't have um, a bottom the way I notice it because when I was when I was doing it for the whole thing it didn't give me um, also a round corner and this edge but I will just leave it like this because this can might work good I think this could work good okay so we have like a small bevel and the real world you always have a small bevel and then I'm I'm painting the the new bevel again so we have it um, very nice and then another thing is on gold materials or every every like flashy material you should um, do this now uh, you see those dots that means that we have some problems here with the geometric shape so what I'm going to do I'm going to put it down to 0 0.5 and we still have some problems but that's okay um, I don't want uh, the same uh, corner so it says we have some problems but that's okay and it doesn't want to go so let's do it let's do on some of the faces uh, let's try again let's put zero point this is real life uh, problems this is not like a tutorial when you edit everything down <laughs> and it looks perfect um, okay let's see uh, we want uh, we have that uh, come on let's see if it will go uh, let's let's just try to do some of them okay so this will work and okay here we already have some problems uh, okay there we go I'll just do the outline um, frame because for me that's the most important part because that's what you're going to see if it was like okay so when you do it so you have open spaces that uh, usually get closed and like for example like uh, not long ago I was doing a render for um, for like uh, um, some project and there was some wording on it like there was lettering like you know um, writing some stuff so I, all the letters like I did them I did this method because I believe this is um, uh, the right way to do uh, every sharp edge okay sorry uh. okay sorry um, now let's do the same for here so for this one we did 1.1 and then we also did for that one also but we didn't do the bottom face so we didn't have a bottom face but here we have a bottom face and we don't want to do it because it came out nice and after we're, after we um, after we going after we got the round corner we're going to uh, paint this so we have like you see the color sometimes doesn't work the best the really way to do it is to go to view hidden hidden geometry hidden geometry put on 
hidden geometry and then you can really paint one by one and it's not working I don't know why okay I'll just leave it like this it's not it won't be noticeable I believe I hope not so now for this one let's see if this one will work now this one has the same problems um, I didn't make those models um, I download them from uh, Natuzzi uh, it's Italian uh, I'm probably not saying it right but it's okay um, I, I hope it's okay um, Italian uh, company that makes uh, furniture they have very stylish stuff so I like to use them and uh, and you also can buy the stuff so that's also a big adva advantage because um, let's say if you a lot of stuff that you you can okay it doesn't it's not working so um, I'm just going to do the outline I'm not going to put so much time into it. and now I need to erase all the faces that uh, fill up the space and uh, now we have a small a nice bevel and we have the table let's do the material for the table so I select uh, by the way the the bucket is B paint bucket so my shortcut is B and then I sample with the um, out uh, helps shortcut helps for um, uh, working quicker so for some reason um, I can see the I guess it's because um, that's probably because uh, a memory issue so uh, let me see um, the preview is not working what we can do to fix it let's see if other materials I hope I don't need to cl close the stream for or pause the stream for that um, by the way thank you for joining and watching so um, what I can do let's see if oh it's back it's back for life thank you I was <laughs> I lost my breath for one second there okay so we have this uh, Kalakata gold material and um, uh, what I want to do is to add some reflection so I already did add reflection and it's hard to see on what material is the reflection but I already know how basically it's going to look and then the reflection I, I like to take it down a little bit not to make it too shiny and you can put some bump in it and more stuff like that and make it more realistic but for this uh, this material for now we're not going to use the bump on this um, you're not going to use the bump on 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 this material okay um, the next material we're going to do is um, I believe the glass now the glass there is there is a V-ray material glass and uh, and you can use any of those now the best one that I find works is this one glass window natural this this works the best for um, from for architectural scenes now the problem with this I'll put it in my scene and I'll talk about it it has a refraction if you can see here it has a refraction value 1.8 and for me this is I usually I don't like to have a lot of refraction in in my glass and I have a lot of problems with that so I do my glass different now I'm not saying my way is the right way but this is how I do it in my projects now you can you can do it your way but you can just copy and do it your way but I'm going to um, show you how I do glass so I go uh, for glass I go to the advanced settings and what I usually do I add a reflection layer I don't use this reflection slider I add a reflection layer after I add a reflection layer I I delete the BR uh, the B, the viewing material that comes uh, with the SketchUp standard 
So now basically what we have, um, it also changed the view uh, on the viewport. You can see, uh, let me, let me, here. You can see it was like uh, blue tinted blue and now it's like uh, more clear. So um, the glass, I just add a, uh, um, a reflection. So now it just, it's a pure reflection. It's no, no, um, uh, we, no we don't have any, um, any refraction, just no color, just pure uh, reflect, uh, reflection. Now, the thing that I, I like to do about the glass, I like to add some um, multiplier. Basically, it's to make it more ref reflect reflective. You can also do it with um, putting the IOR higher and going to the Fresnel and uh, putting the values here higher. But here, it's basically taking the multiplier and putting it up. So it's basically the same as going into the the Fresnel and changing. I'm not. If there is any difference, you can send it on the comments, and I'll definitely look into it. And uh, if you if we really if we want some refraction, so we can put refraction. And refraction basically is um, is the distort that if you look through a glass or like in a bottle bottom of a big whiskey bottle you know where there is like a chunk of glass so that you get like a distort so that distort is the um, that distort is the refraction now uh, and the window you don't really have so much refraction now people could be disagree about uh, with me so to the way to control it you go on the IOR where it's IOR under under refraction and you can put it up or down. So basically, one is no non uh, non refraction, and like three is very high, and zero point uh, five is very uh, weird refraction. So what I, I usually do if I really want a little bit, so I, I'll put one point one. So now it's very very subtle, and you may you might can see it like very like here and the edges that that's where you're going to see it so this is the way to that i do glass now there is you know you can use the glass on the on here and any one of those glass and you get a different but this for me this works the best and this is what i recommend so basically a small recap is to erase the v-ray material Add a reflection, add a refraction, a ref, add a reflection, add a refraction, and put the refraction very low and the the ref, uh, multiplier pretty high. And you can go up with this one, like sometimes I go up. And exterior glass, sometimes I also put a bump map to have the waves of a glass. Like if you look and so that's that's a little bit more advanced, and this is not for this tutorial. So I'll just leave it like that. So we have already the glass, and the next thing we want to do is the. I want to do the the photo first because I want to show a trick, and after that we'll do the floor. So um, the photo, um, the art. So basically, this art I download from SketchUp. So I don't have this image on my computer. Now a problem with V-Ray when you open and you see this. Um, problem mark so this says that he can find the the photo so um, what you can do about that that basically uh, and sometimes you see a weird and all kind of stuff when you download and you use models from the internet so also the sofa I download and this also has a diffuse and I don't have this kind of leather material so we have the same problem there uh, with the, this sign that says that they can't find can and this is the same with all the materials that you got from me like with the file you don't have any of those because they're all on my computer so you don't have so what do you do in a case like this what I do in a case like this is um, if you go to the SketchUp uh, uh, default tray on the material tab what you can do is you can export this image now this not always works but let's see. In this case, it works. 
So thank God this works. After I get this um, material, um, I export this material. So what I do, I can go here and uh, uh, this is in uh, Hebrew, but whatever, you have it in your language and you make a copy. And this is the third option under file. And then you can uh, save it in a place that you can use it. So I'll put it on my materials and under art. So I have it here and I'll save it there. So now what I can do is I can really um, use this material for, uh, I can use it for a bunch of stuff. Like I can use it as a map, I can use it as a bump. So let's say if I want to have like a small bump or something like that. Uh, and this, uh, it's, it's not, for, it's not, this is not the right material to use it, but whatever, you will use it. Like for a floor, it's very, it's very handful. Like floor, it's, okay, basically, um, we'll continue. Uh, so, a small, a small reflection, yeah, no, not a lot of glossiness, it's a painting, yeah. And if we already created the map, so uh, we can load it from from uh, where we have it now. So it's on the art, and here it is. So now this should uh, go away. But so now we can copy uh, this material. So I right click copy. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, okay, we have some problems here, but it's not. It's it's there. I believe it's there. Let's see. Yeah. Let's bring it again. Okay. I don't know what's the problem with this. So let's close it. That that fixed it last time. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so what we can do I don't I don't know why there is this problem, but that's okay with me. I want to show a different method to make a material. So that's the old method. The, this method is to add a diffuse and now we have this blank and this material we can delete and now uh, we can paste it here and we got it the same thing and we got just on the diffuse without the VRA material. Why to do uh, something like this? Um, that's a good question and Sometimes I prefer to use a uh, diffuse, no, uh, diffuse material and then add the reflection by itself and everything by itself, then use the, um, then use the, the regular um, way. Okay, so uh, let's add a small bump and we'll just paste it here. So now it's pretty intense because all those colors create as a bump map so what we can do is we can like put it very low and oh, it look like we have some paint on it and then add a reflection and here you can really see the reflection so um, we can take the multiplier down and then uh, on the glossiness tab take the glass glossiness tab so I'm trying to keep it simple and short and I'm sorry if it's uh, too, you know, uh, this is a new uh, new thing we I'm doing. So uh, I hope you guys like it. And uh, yeah. Okay, so we got the material for that. Let's do the floor. Um, for the floor, um, this is a material that I download. So I'll upload it on 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 uh, on on you on Facebook to download and uh, so this is how the material looks on V-Ray I hope you have it the same and basically uh, we can use the quick settings so for the quick settings um, we can add a reflection Let's add a reflection and let's take the glossiness down and I want to show a few tricks. So basically we have here uh, the bitmap of the photo and we want to use it as um, uh, a reflection map. 
So basically, if we copy this, and the reflection map is usually um, black and white, and it looks closer to the white. Well, that means every wherever there is a black spot, that will have less reflection. And on the white spots, that we are going to have uh, more reflection. So how we can take this map and create it to um, a white, uh, black and white and uh, on the white side. So there is here um, a material that's called color correction. So again, under reflection, so instead of having this flat white um, map, we're going to use a uh, color correction. Sorry. And then we're going to paste the material on, on the color correction. And here we have a bunch of settings that we can use and um, for making it white or black and white. So basically saturation is the color. And here we have also a slider that we can change the color, but we're not going to uh, play with that. Um, so we're going to take all the saturation out and then we're going to bright, um, bright the image like pretty much, almost, almost like white, just to have a little bit of of uh, of variation. So we don't have everything flat. And if on this, uh, we can also use this as a bump. So we can copy. Uh, this material and then on the bump we can paste it So basically now we also have a bump. Uh, it's better to use normals I have a whole video on it why and everything with all the details but uh, um, We're not going to use a uh, normal for this uh, Just when you put the bump don't forget to check this uh, mark So this is a very strong bump. So I'm going to put it like 0 0.2 and a subtle bump, a nice uh, uh, ref uh, reflection uh, map, and we have some um, a little bit glossiness. And uh, I think the wood is ready for now. Okay. The next one is the carpet. Now the carpet we're going to uh, a little bit adjust. So basically we're going to go in, and we want to do the V-ray fur. So to do the V-ray fur, um, basically uh, it makes fur from every um, face on on the uh, on the group. So if we go to um, monochrome mode, and we can see this is the right side of the face, and uh, let's say if we have it like flipped. Uh, reverse face. So this is the wrong f side. What I mean wrong and right, you know, it's not exactly wrong and right. So if we have fur and we had it like this, the fur would point down. We don't want the fur to point down. So we need to have it like this on the white side. Okay, so basically that's, I, I hope it's, <laughs> I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. And uh, uh, so we don't need the bottom face because then we have like some fur going on the, on, on the floor and that we don't need that. So I'm going to erase that. And now what we want to have, now we have like a small step, we want to have like a small bevel. So I'm going to use the scale and with uh, control, just um, scale it in a little bit, the top face. So basically now we have like a small bevel. A nice small bevel, that's, that's, this will work. And after we have this, we can uh, uh, choose the, the group and click fur. Once we got the fur, basically now it's a fur. Now we can't see the, the fur because, um, because we need to render. So we can, we can uh, maybe do like a small rendering and I'll put it on low or a low so we can work with the fur. And we'll choose here for interactive render. Okay, so this doesn't really help so much. <laughs> it looks like grass, basically. By the way, you can see here the wood of the floor came out pretty nice. 
Um, yeah, it looks like uh, grass, basically. And we don't want it so uh, massive. I have a feeling about the material. Let's try, let's check first the material before we go in, in depth into the. So the material is the um, the carpet material, and it's I download this from the warehouse, so I don't have the map. So what I I want to get the map. So I'll do the same trick, export, and here we have a problem. Fail. So we will just use it like this. We don't have the material, so that's a problem, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, for the fur, so un underneath the object scene, yeah, and we have the fur options. So first of all, the length. So I don't want it so long, so let's say, I don't know, yeah, one, maybe half. Yeah, half is enough. And uh, thickness, I want it a little bit more thick. Like I want it like to have like a s uh, fat noodles, not like small noodles. And um, gravity is what make you know gravity what makes the and bent. I want less bent on them. Like uh, tapper is. Uh, uh, is the way air like goes like you know tapper and uh, to make uh, more more of those so thus in distribution you can per area you can add more let's make um, uh, a render and I, I, I'm not sure about the interactive render so I'm just going to uh, do a regular render and see how this is comes out Okay, so for so the video is a little bit slow, and that's probably because I'm rendering, obviously, yeah. But I like I like the way it comes out, and I'm going to leave it like that for now. Unless we're doing more um, uh, changes and everything, but for now I'm going to leave this and this way. So this uh, I'm going to now. A uh, quick tip is uh, when you do um, when you do stuff like this, like a uh, rug or something like that you want not to be in the air, not to be close to the floor, and not on the floor exec. So you don't, and you don't want it to be, um, so, uh, so close to the floor. I, I see I have some problems with my connection so maybe for the next thing I'll try to fix it. I know it's uh, maybe it's uh, hard to watch it like that, but I'm, I'm really trying. And uh, if you guys have a question, so just send it over, and I'll try to answer or touch about it. Uh, what I can do to make it um, make it work faster. Let me think. Uh, maybe I can close some tabs. Um, yeah, I need to. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take this, uh, take this rug and put it in there. 0 0.1 um, inch, and that they'll make uh we'll have like a small line uh under underneath the rug the next part we're going to do is uh we're going to uh put the, the table also a little bit so it don't sink inside of the inside of the um rug 
and this top and now we're going to put it on the air 0 0.1 and by the way everything almost it looks better if it's on the air like if you have some uh, um, if you have some let's say for example a sofa or something like that that looks uh, you can also put it in there but sometimes it's, it doesn't work like you see some space and that's no good okay so um, now we're still in materials we have almost everything ready right we have this we have this we have all this area we want to uh, make this couch uh, I want to do a velvet material um, yeah it's a, a little bit complicated so I'm going to uh, uh, sketch up texture and you guys uh, if you don't know it you obviously know it this is one of the best uh, for textures and they're awesome they also feature on their page this live stream so thumbs up for them and definitely check them out and see um, if you can be part of their team and uh, like member and stuff like that so under uh, materials um, I'm going to look for a fabric and under fabric I want the velvet velvet material and for all our project we need some blue um, I guess uh, this one we can color correct it and uh, and I'm going to download uh, this uh, material and this uh, the two version of the of the I hope this won't make the This is a pretty, pretty intense. Uh, this is hard. Uh, a, a very strong blue come out very nice. Okay, so we have uh, two materials. The reason we we need two uh, two maps is because I want to do a follow uh, for a velvet material. You need to use a a, a special. Um, um, you need to use um, a, a special. Uh, you need sorry I can finish my sentence uh, you need to use a special material fall off okay I'll cut I'll cut it and I'll put it in my uh, materials and then under fabric and live okay it's okay and I'm going to post it uh, paste it and extend it yeah, let's I know I need to download the program. Okay, so uh, we have this one and we have this one. Two, two materials. So um, this is going to be a little bit more uh, complicated material, but this is the last material we're going to do complicated for this couch we're going just to uh, put uh, like maybe a gray or a white leather from the V-ray material so we don't have it so complicated so let's see um, we have this material and what I want basically to do is I want uh, I want to see on the SketchUp so I'll explain what I don't want to happen. So basically, if I go here and I put um, if I put here, uh, um, if I put here a uh, fall off material right after it, so I get this V-ray, and this is very clever. This is V-ray trying to show you how they're mapping the the texture and everything. That's a hundred percent with me, but I, I'm not. I don't like it. So this is a personal choice. So I I want to see the material as is. So the trick to do it 
and this is the fall of material and the trick to do it is to add on top a, a diffuse once you add on top a diffuse you can put here on the map uh, the beam map and we want to go to uh, you want to go to uh, the fabric I have a question I just want to answer a question here online um, so I want to add on on the fabric Sorry, I, I lo uh, on the live, and then I want to I want to see it, a large, and I want to add this blue. Uh, and here now, because I don't, I I can see how this is tile, and how this sits on on the on the material. And that's okay with me. It's not too big. It's not too small. And that's why I like to do it. And if I go here on the on the tr transparency. I can make it fully transparent. So basically I have here a diffuse that on SketchUp it reads this diffuse. So I can see I can see the material here, but what's really affecting for V-Ray, it's one underneath. So that's this diffuse. It's a little bit complicating, but if you get the point, you can make crazy uh special um material on on special like very uh special materials on on this uh on this uh way so um and uh, yeah you can also put a map here with the black and white and m define where you want it to be um transparent where you you don't so back to the fall off so this is the fall off material and you can see here the black is the middle part and the white is the outer part. So we want to do the same. We want to put on the black uh, bitmap and then put this strong blue. And then on the bright we want um, a bitmap and then put the light view. Now maybe those colors are not exactly the same. Yeah, they're, they're pretty off. But I can do a different method, like I can go here, and instead of putting here the material, I can put a color correction. And then, on the color correction, put a bitmap and put the blue. And on the color correction, make it less blue, like... Yeah, like I want it. I want to uh, take the saturation down and put it a little bit brighter. But th the problem, it's not like Photoshop. It's pretty. It, it ruins. Um, it ruins the photos if you color correct it too much. I don't know. This doesn't look uh, any better. Let's see. I, I'm not sure about it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not happy with the blue. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to take here. Sorry. I'm going to choose here color correct. Uh, color correction. Color correction. And then on the color correction, I'm going to put a bitmap and I'm going to put this one and with the color correction make this one a little bit stronger for some reason I like this one better yeah something, something like this and maybe add some contrast it's way too much okay so this will be the high and the, the here I can put the the low and for the low um, I still have the brightness that I had before so let's bring it back uh, just type here zero and saturation Uh, 
And uh, like the, the, the best way to do it, honestly, is to do it in Photoshop. That's the right way to do it. And now it just looks wrong because we have this blue. So I'm going to change the blue. I'm going to put, I hope you, um, uh, please let me know if this is too complicated. If you don't mind, if it's okay, just, uh, just write okay on the, on the, on the comments. So I want to show another thing, and this is the UV plugin. SketchUp UV, and either or either either I either way I I am pretty happy with this because it's a fabric and you can't really see it from far off, and it looks okay. It's not so bad. I'm um, let's say you want you want to UV map uh, this. So what do you you go you enter the block the the component or block whatever it is. And then you click on the UV, uh, you, you download this, you, uh, SketchUp UV, and then you click on this uh, painting, um, UV uh, mapping tool. And once you click on it, you right click it on, th on this area, wherever your um, box, and then you have all those options. So basically, a uh, box is like, uh, uh, make it like a box. And I think I have no. Uh, so when you do dealing with like here, you can see I did a UV and it works a little bit better than here. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Oh, uh, maybe we can show it with that. Now, honestly, I would probably uh, take this and put the same material on it and to have some uh, contrast on the other side. Maybe even uh, duplicate this, and I'm not going to do it super fancy. I'm just going to take this a little bit, and this is pretty bad. OK, this is good enough. And yeah, this is okay. Okay, so now it looks much better. So we got this um, this material that's uh, a little bit more advanced, and we got here the the whole scene. And now what we want, we want some leather for um, for the sofa. And I'll probably, if it was on my reference, like I would like to have it. Uh, gray and maybe um, fabric but I don't want to make another material even though I have here a fabric gray but uh, we can try it we can try it but I feel like uh, just going on the safe side just a white leather um, let's see if, if V-Ray has a white leather they don't have a white leather <laughs> so <laughs> so basically I don't have any options here um let's try let's try the fabric and if this doesn't look good because i feel like i feel like we need some white and some air in this photo without rendering it this is what i feel so um white can really work well here so i think i think we'll just do white and um so uh, we'll just use it. So we have the same problem we had earlier. This is something that I download, so we don't have this. Let's try it and see if I can export this map. And yes, I can. So this is uh, great. And I'm going to uh, make a copy. And here I'm going to go to leather. I have some. Yeah. And I'm going to save it in there. And then I'm going to load it into um if I'm working too fast just let me know okay so I uploaded it again and now I can use it as a bump I see it's
Okay, so uh, I up I now I I loaded it in um I loaded this and maybe yeah, maybe I can try to uh, fix it so we don't have a uh, delay. One second, let me see. Uh, sorry. Okay, so I believe uh, now uh, it'll be better. No, here. Sorry. Okay, there we go. I I believe now we don't ha we won't have any delays. So um, I hope. Okay, so for the letter, so I now I have this. Uh, I want a reflection, small reflection, um, and I want maybe to take the IOR down to maybe. 1.55 something like that. You can find all those IOR online, but basically it's whatever looks good. You copy the layer, uh, the the image from the diffuse, and we're going to put it on the bump. We're going to keep it very very simple base. And uh, on leather, what's uh, very important is the bump. So let's try like um, 1.3. You need a strong bump on the leather, and maybe we can put a little bit more reflection and less glossiness. It's very hard to see. Probably online it's even harder, but here it's very hard to really know how it looks. But I believe it's okay. Okay, so we have, uh, we did a floor, we did. Um, we have the curtains still, so uh, the curtains um, is pretty much uh, the same, and you can see here, it's we have two kinds of curtains. We have the the one that are very uh, transparent and the one that uh, is very uh, blocky. So um, what I want to do, I usually the easiest way to for me is to add a diffuse and to delete this because I have some problems with the uh, viewing material transparent so I uh, here I have more uh, more more uh, control so on the diffuse I'm going to upload a bitmap of uh, some uh, fabric something not so fancy and uh, that is on the fabric folder and Clicking on control and scrolling in, so this is like a white fabric, so this will work good. And so we have a white fabric. Now I want to make it like really t transparent. So there is a other way to do it. There is a way using the um, refraction. Using refraction to make transparent. Now, for my experience, every time I did it, this was a very long time to render and for me that's one of the crucial things like if you work and you try to make a lot of renderings so y you have a hard time you have a hard time um, with long renders and I have like a few computers that can work on it but anyway that didn't work for me so well so now that I have the material and I'm happy with it and I put it on pretty transparent you can see it you barely can see it and even uh, maybe put it up a little bit more and then I copy I c I'll copy this texture because I want to use it for the other curtain as well just without um, without the transparent so much so I want to delete uh, this material and I want to add the diffuse and on the diffuse I want to paste the the map and I want it to be a little bit transparent and let's say something like that, like 50%. Uh, we can add like a reflection that will make it more realistic. Always reflections are good. Every And also a bump. Uh, it depends how uh, sophisticated we want the material to be. 
Um, and here I'll take the gloss, uh, the multiplier down, just to have a very small, subtle reflection. And same for the other, uh, other material. I'm going to sample it and add a reflection. Put it down like, uh, let's say, the filter down. Glossiness also. Not filter, filter. Sorry. Not filter, I mean, um, I took the multiplier down and the highlights and... Okay, and another thing we can do, we can copy this and we can put it as a bump on a very, very, uh, the bump here is uh, under mapping bump turn it on and paste it here and put it like that's good enough and same here this is pretty advanced material uh, even we will barely going to see it because it's fairly very in the background but it's good to makes good material regardless okay so we have basically almost the scene ready the only thing we have from materials that we didn't touch on is the light so inside those light bulbs that i download and um, we have some materials some material that uh, i see uh, was mixed with the other material so i'm going to uh, enter the um, inside this uh, light bulb and i'm going to paint it with just the color I'm going just to choose a color and this is going to be the material and and those are uh, it's a component so this effect also this and what we want here is uh, emissive so here there is something we didn't talk about there is like a bunch of presets here that we can use like we can use glass also here and I have a whole tutorial about it but I don't use this glass anyway and just we can choose emissive once we choose emissive it takes this uh, pink color and make it like a, a light source and I don't want it really to be um, pink so I'm going to change it for like uh, you know solder uh, low yellow and put the intensity like up to like 50 we can change it when we render till we happy okay so the next thing uh, we want to do is we want to do the grass and this is going to be also the last thing we're going to do on this uh, material series so uh, the grass uh, we just want to make it uh, fur just click on it it's already a group it's just a round thing with a material and I was I did some testing and I feel like if you take it down because you go out and you want like and realistic and the life you know we'll have probably a step down so I don't know two inches down I don't know that's enough and I hope it will come out better okay so now we have all the materials set up and we're pretty um, ready for the next segment and the next segment is um, the lighting next segment is lighting is lighting is as you know is very uh, very important and 3d so let's see um, what we have for lighting here we'll open the uh, the editor the v-ray editor and see what kind of lights we have so this is uh, something we don't have it in scene and we're going to add one so we can delete that we start a fresh new page so a uh, way a good way to um check your lighting and this is someone uh, uh yoni levy taught me this and basically um a good way to uh ch check you um, lighting is override material it's basically forget all the materials you you put you put a gray on top of everything and you check your materials now the problem with this is the glass because the glass also be gray and then we don't have any light so this 
won't work here so well. Uh, we can try and see what we get. So it came out totally black. So this doesn't work, obviously. But in, in outdoor uh, scenes, this this really helps. Okay. So uh, this is uh, the the first render we're doing, and I want to cancel here something. One second, I'm stopping the render, and I don't like the progress uh, rendering, so I'm canceling this. And we're going to start it from the beginning and talk about the materials and then we're going to address some of them. So uh, here we can see the fall off material comes out very nice. I don't know if you can really see it yet, but like this is the fall off material and we can see the grass here and the floor. The floor it has too much of uh, too much of uh, glo uh, too much of glossiness. So we're going to address that in a minute and here we have all the scene pretty uh, pretty nice and here we have this uh, lamp with uh so it's pretty dark obviously yeah um, so let's see what we can do um, the way that uh, I like to get started is to uh, put a rectangle light and usually you can put it on the ceiling or something like that just to get a uh, general lighting but we have here a window so we're going to use the window and because it's total black it's very hard to see the edges so I'm going to change to a different mode and I'm going to um, draw uh, I'm sorry if this is uh, <laughs> make you dizzy I'm going to do a rectangle, a big rectangle behind uh, the mirror. Something like this. And on, on the settings uh, of the light, under the light bulb, you have all the lights in the scenes. So basically, uh, what we have here is the rectangle. So we got, we, because it's the window, we want some sunlight and sunlight is usually like a little bit orange orangish so this is like a very subtle orange and we want to change it to invisible so now we have it invisible and uh, I don't want to double side here now I see the curtains are um, the faces is wrong wrong direction but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Okay, back to uh, our regular um, uh, view and let's render this and see how this affects. So we got some, it's a good start, we got some light and you can see here that um, the curtains are way too much, uh, at least the uh, uh, they're too uh, transparent so I need to address that and the, again we have this floor that's way too much uh, the, the sun is too strong and we're going to start with the floor and take the reflection down I'm just going to take the multiplier down and maybe uh, put the IOR a little bit down like 1.36 that's okay um, and then we had also we had also this material that was way too much uh, transparent so uh, under the diffuse we're going to make it less transparent something like this and this one we want like really blocky so we're going to put it like this 
Okay, another thing we can really do is we can make the rectangle there a little bit shorter and then um, it won't affect so much the curtain. So it's better, but I feel like it still needs some work. So I'm going to uh, put it now like almost solid, like clearly almost solid. The, the one that's solid. Okay, um, well, the next thing we want to do, we want to add a light source. So we have the like the light, um, uh, the light strips of the uh, coal, but we want like a light source. So we're going to use the Omni Light, and I'm going to go into into this com component. So we once we add it, it will also be here on the other one. So I'm, I'm choosing the Omni Light, and I'm going to choose like a center. And let's see if we got it. We got it also here. So this is okay. And what we we want to do is uh, basically we want to take it a little bit in, or that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So let's set the Omni Light. Now Omni Light is usually a uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, how do you say it? not strong like very light so I'm going to put like a pretty strong orange color yellow orange and put the value like on 5000 and now I want to try to render this and to render only this area, I'm going to take the region render and put a render uh, box and just render this area. And as you can see, it works pretty well. And we also get like those nice shadows from the light fixtures, light fixture that I really like. Now it's it's a little bit weird because I feel like I need to uh, move it a little bit out of the of the light uh, light source so I'm just going to uh, select this light and bring it over here and uh, now I'm going to uh, render again and another thing that uh, if you want to add uh, see the last render so you just click there and it's very it's very small res but the light the the material light is very strong so what i want to do is also um go to the material light so that is the this color b if you work um you know organize with the all the materials and everything and so you have so that's 50 was it's a little bit strong so maybe let's do 30 okay back to our uh, scene so we got this uh, light and uh, we have uh, a little bit light and that's uh, the uh, now we can add the light fixture here but that will take too much time but what I want to add is uh, three like spots or something like that so we can uh, get uh, have some light and to so I'm going to enter the ceiling um, uh, block and just uh, take a circle and draw a circle like a five inch that's way too big two and a half inch uh, circle and I'm going to um, make it like take it up make it a group make a component and I'm going to um, yeah, uh, sorry I'm control Z control Z I'm back to this uh, spot and I'm making uh, I'll just make it make a component any 
create so now if I do any changes on it it will be applied to all the light that I'm going to do and uh, here I'm going to uh, scale this uh, inner uh, inner plane so we have like a small like you know spotlight a nice spotlight and I'm going to put some color on on the on this material so we have some light and this is I feel like this is too high so I'm going to take it down like like that okay and another thing I want to do I want to add a guide from the center going down like this just like this now here's a tip and this is uh, something that I I figured out this is the spotlight yeah if I just click once I get this spotlight right away and then I can you know change the all the all the settings but the tip is like this if you click the spotlight and you click on shift you click on shift and then you click so your first click will give you to point the spotlight wherever you want and then the second click will give you how big you want the cone angle and I believe this is something that it's not so known no, known so the second angle uh, you can, the second click is uh, how how wide you want the cone angle and then the third angle a uh, third click is how uh, um how you want the trans the, tr the transition between the light and the solid areas so this is our spotlight now we are still going to uh, change it a little bit and we're going to put it up here and spotlight so let's start with like five let's start with like a little bit more um, yellow orange color warm color and this will be uh, good enough so now that I have one spotlight um, I'm just going to uh, add a few more in our scene so I'm going to uh, add here one more and, uh, and I'm going to uh, divide by two and then I'm going to take those and put them like this is our scene so divide by two so this is the spotlight for our scene let's see now how the lighting works you want to oh <laughs> this is funny we burned the scene up okay let's see uh, let's put it down like uh, spotlight let's put it down to like point uh, five and okay there we go okay and stop and let's do render for the whole scene now something in general and generally you want your scenes to be darker than lighter because light if you have some informa uh, information that's burned means that you overexpose you can restore it but if you have dark information you can restore your dark information so you can bring it back to life so um, this scene is uh, pretty uh, I think it's uh, um, I think the lighting is even though maybe you, you think it's a little bit dark but I, I have a feeling that um, for now uh, maybe we can put it up but I feel like this is uh, okay maybe we can try 1.1 and my really intention was is to put like a few spotlights on top of the on, uh, of, of the photo and maybe point the the, the this maybe we'll do it okay so here now it's much better and I feel this is pretty solid 
so I'm going to cancel the rendering and just fix this uh, small thing that I want to do is to add uh, maybe I'll do them like smaller I'll take them all the way to here and I'm going to scale those 50% Fifty percent is a lot. Uh, Seventy-five. Let's and let's take this and with this guide, I'm going to lock it on the green axis and put it on the midpoint. By the way, I want all of them to line up, so I'm going to move all of them. Now, since uh, those the the right ones are out of the scene so I'm not going to be worried about them um, and the last thing I want to do is uh, add one to this side so let's say 20 inches maybe 25 30 and another one to this side is to have it and now with uh, make it make unique let's select all three make unique and then go inside and choose those and make unique once you click make unique you made a new spotlight you had only one spotlight that control all the spotlights in the room and now we have another one that will be for those and for this one we want a little bit more sharp we can close the cone angle and also for um, the the I, I don't know the this angle this uh, the smoothness of the of the line and what we also can do is we can uh, a little bit adjust the light so I'm going to click the green axis with the arrow and point it out to our photo. So that's that this will make the difference. Yeah, so let's try to render this again. And yeah, this makes all the makes the photo nice and like those small spotlights. Now this is yellow, so maybe this is too yellow for me, but uh, I can change it after in post production. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. We can do a region render for here. So next thing on the deck, we did the lighting. The next, the next thing is environment. So for environment, I have a photo, and I'm going to share it after. In uh, okay, this this is great. This is what I want. This is perfect. Yeah, this is this is pretty. This is okay. Uh, this is what I want. Um, maybe maybe the color is too strong, but uh, the yellow. So I can go to the second spotlight and maybe make it a little bit more white. Okay, that's about it. Um, the next thing is uh, environment. So to create an environment, you have a few ways, and you have also the uh, doom light and to create the environment but I I don't use it I use I go to environment tab and underneath uh, background I choose uh, instead of the sky various sky I go and I choose a bitmap and I have uh, I have a bunch of skies uh, all kind of HDR and I'm going to share the one that I'm using so uh, uh, the one that I'm using is uh, a field one. I feel we have a delay. So uh, just a, uh, I saw there is a small delay, so I'm going to, um, the way I do uh, environment, I'm going back. 
I go to the environment uh, under the ranch, under the setting tab, and I change the, the sun to HDR, um, to uh, HDRI. And what I, I do is uh, I, I have a bunch of uh, HDRI. So I choose here under the field, and I choose the uh, HDRI field. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I choose this one, uh, and I'll I'll share this one on Facebook. Uh, and now now that I have the HDRI, it's very important to change the UV uh, to environment. So now it's environment, and I already tested it a few times. So basically, I'm going to show you how this looks, and I'm just going to render this like this. So basically it's very dark and not only it's dark there is um, we have the sun coming from this window and on this photo uh, if you look at it if we open this um, this is right here on the sky we we have like a sun and then we have like a very dark area and we don't want this dark area to be on on the window so we need to rotate it the way to rotate it under the uv we have rotation on the horizon um so i checked this um already and it's a 50. if you rotate 50 it comes out pretty nice this one and another problem we have this environment is very um dark if you can see it's very very dark so we want to make it lighter so we're going to put it up to 150 and now when we render this is much better Okay, so what is the stuff that I'm not 100% happy with? So um, what I'm not 100% happy with is this, uh, the floor that's a little bit burned out here. So I have a feeling this is from the, from the uh, big, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, this is from the the big uh, surface that we put out uh, on the the rectangle light and we can maybe fix it in cross production but i want to try to fix it here and this chair it feels like it's flying let's see no it's okay okay so i will cancel the render now and another thing is the color of the grass needs to match a little bit better this grass this is the only stuff that really bothers me so i'll cancel this render and i'm going to cancel this render and what we want to do is uh first we want to see if the problem is the rectangle light so i'm going to shot it off and and now I'm, I'm going to uh, do a region render on this area and I'm going to see how this come out now because if it's the Sun I can we can make the Sun so this is didn't this didn't fix it so the Sun is the Sun is too strong so we can turn on the um uh the the rectangle light back on and the sun we have here the first one on the light 
and we can intensity multiplier we can take it down let's try now so this is this definitely uh, took care of some of it it's uh, less stronger now maybe we can even uh, take it a little bit more like I don't like to put it so low but uh, since it makes a lot of uh, make makes the floor uh, too burned out okay so for the grass we need to do a uh, few things we we can do this will be good enough yeah this this is good enough okay so for the grass uh, what we can do is uh, something that we did um, for uh, a, diff a few materials we can um, make a color correction and change a little bit the tune of the grass so I'm going to copy this uh, grass material and add uh, diffuse and then uh, place it on the diffuse and make it uh, full transparent so now this diffuse doesn't all the, this no diffuse is just for the sketchup so I can uh, make the size right and um, make all the those details right and um, I want to uh, add a reflection and uh, grass can be uh, it has no uh, glossiness so just like that and uh, maybe even stronger yeah and what we want also is to add um, the grass and we want to color correct it so here um, we have the grass and what, what we want to do is to copy this is a little bit advanced copy this and add a color correction and paste this and now we have this here and we can a little bit desaturate the grass a little bit like it's very subtle like just take some saturation out of it this is good enough okay now let's check how the grass comes out so um, this is a, a pretty long uh, tutorial and uh, I want to pretty uh, ra wrap this up so I want to uh, render this and uh, um, on uh, mid uh, resolution let's just see uh, what we got here okay so the reflection didn't do any good for the grass let's wait a little bit so let's see um, it's very hard to tell uh, and I don't want to wait the whole render so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, maybe do a region render oh here it's start rendering so let's see let's see here the grass um, how the grass came out this is now the most important now for me uh, the connection here is very important so I, I, I probably won't be happy with this and I uh, probably will take it for Photoshop but this tutorial the, we, we not, I'm not going to take it into Photoshop and the post production I'm going to do is on the V-Ray so the V-Ray has an option to have like a small post production so this is my plan now because we have reflection on the grass so it takes a long time to um, render so I think we're going to cancel this 
and we're going to uh, just delete the reflection and we're going to maybe take the uh, make uh, because we we want we want to we want to uh, take the quality down to low because we want to uh, we want to also do some process production because that's also in our shape. So the next thing we have after uh, we we went over the environment and the settings, well the settings we didn't do. So we do now we'll, we'll do now the settings. Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, so I'll let this render on on the. Let me pause this. And I, I want to see this part here. And there is a few ways to solve it, like maybe to try to color correct it better or something like that, but I'm not going to uh, deal with this uh, too much. Because if you know a little bit of Photoshop, you probably can easily uh, fix this. So I, I'm, not, I'm not worrying about this too much. So the next thing is uh, settings. So. Um, settings settings okay settings we have here the uh oh because we're rendering we okay this is good enough we'll just pause it like this okay so um the settings we have here the render tab the render tab you can choose here uh progressive is when the render uh render and then make uh be better and better you don't have like the small squares i don't like it but you can use it if, if you're a fan and you can use also the GPU with this and I don't know I, I don't find it I, I feel like it's not ready yet and it needs some more time to uh, process but like eventually it'll be perfect interactive is uh, when you have the uh, re render buffer running and I'll just make it quicker so <laughs> sorry um, quality. Quality, you can change the quality of the image here, like if you want low, medium, high, very high, uh, yeah, very high is high, uh, the highest. So I'm going to uh, put it on low for this tutorial. Camera is uh, some, you have all kind of uh, effects that you can add, like depth of feel and uh, all kind of effects that you can add, like a small vignette, but we're not going to uh, add any of this here and uh, output render this is how big how many pixels you're going to have in the photo so basically you can also add like a self frame and that this will show you basically where is the render going to be and to know what's included in the render so for example you want the corner of the of the of the you want the corner of the carpet to be and the and the photos that's cool and um that's uh that's the render yeah render uh, output uh, and uh no that's a safe a safe frame so you can with or without whatever you prefer this is the aspect ratio and you can do like a one by one like a square instagram thing or whatever picture thing uh, whatever you choose. Um, save image is to have the render save automatically. Let's say you have a bunch of rendering, batch render. You want to render a few pictures, like you have a bunch of scenes and you want to render all of them, so you need to make sure this. You have here a path. Now for this animation, is also a different tutorial. We're not going to talk about it now. Environment, we change it, we play with, out with this around. Overall material, we talked about it in the lighting uh, part. And Swam, this is if you have a bunch of computers. I have, and I have also license for Swam, but unfortunately, this, I have some problems with it, and I was with uh, V-Ray in contact, and I couldn't figure it out. So once I get it figured out, I'll let you know. Uh, ray trace, uh, we're going to skip. Uh, uh, global illumination is pretty important. So here we have the ambient inclusion, and we want some ambient inclusion. So here we can. Uh, sorry, well, I just realized that um, <laughs> I was on. And uh, <laughs> sorry about that. 
I was talking and I wasn't on the screen. Um, sorry. <laughs> this is pretty funny. But uh, um, so what I'm going to start over the settings. I'm sorry about about the this um, problem. Uh, this is my first time uh, doing this tutorial, and let me know if you're happy with it. You know, in the comments. But I <laughs> okay. Let's start again. Render is here. You can uh, choose between those all kind of options. When you start V-Ray, uh, this is on progressive, and I usually um, I don't like the progressive mode, so I change it to uh, the regular mode with uh, like the squares, the render. Here you can switch very fast between the quality. So I, for this uh, tutorial, we, we keep it on low, but I will render it after on, on high. Camera, you have here a bunch of settings and effects and depth of field. This is very uh, fun to play with, but we're not going to touch on this. Uh, render output is the aspect ratio of the photo, and you can change it and make it like this was like I think uh, 640 something like that and I I don't know what it was and I change it to uh, a full HD that's uh, 1080 by uh, 1920 and you can uh, click here save frame and this is also if you got the save frame and you don't know how to get rid of it so this is the switch you just turn it off and then uh, the save frame basically shows you where is your photo rendering so you want to make sure like the corner of the carpet is inside so that's a safe frame next is the environment we talked about in the environment uh, segment and next is the material override and we talked about it on the lighting uh, uh, the swarm I told you that I have some license and uh, it was working for me but now I have some problems with it I don't, I'm not sure exactly what it is so I need to fix this uh, maybe I'll do it later. Um, ray trace is uh, we're not going to go into it and global uh, global illumination. So this is a uh, pretty important. And default this uh, ambient occlusion is turned off. So you need to turn it on. And basically that's the small dirt that comes on the corner that defines like the corner um, when two surfaces meet each other. So here you can. Um, you can define how big the radius is. So let's say from the corner, how far out you want the, the radius to go. So let's say in this court, we want to do a 1. I don't know, 3. And the amount, how much you want from this, uh, um, uh, how much you want ambient inclusion. So I'm going to keep it, uh, um, no, I'm going to put the radius on 15 and the amount on 1.3. So that's the right. Okay, other than that, um, I feel the most, uh, this is the one of the biggest advantage of VA 3.4. And this is uh, pretty awesome. So you definitely need to check that out. So the denoiser is one of the m m um, render elements that you want to render. And the uh, material ID, if you use Photoshop, is very handful. And the Z depth is nice. And you can tweak uh, the denoiser, how much denoiser you want, and uh, also the Z depth. And that's about it for us. So we're going to render this uh, image. And uh, just let me cancel this. And the last segment of this tutorial, I'm still not, I'm not 100% happy with, uh, with this, uh, how the floor looks, but it's okay, I'll live with that. This is only, you know, a tutorial and it's live and it's, uh, yeah, yep, yep. Okay, so I'll just let it render, and I'll I'll go over um, the the last stuff that we want to uh, talk. So, last thing we want to talk about is post production, and post production is um, post production and V-Ray is uh, 
pretty um, uh, pretty awesome because it, it it got so much better in the last uh, a few years that it's it's, um, it's just uh, a treat how how better this post production compared to a few years ago. So uh, first of all, if you like your glass more reflective, so you can add reflective, like you can check on the, on the segment, uh, but we're just going to leave it like this. So to do uh, any post-production on V-Ray is this uh, show uh, a color co uh, control panel, I don't know how they call it. So here is the post-production uh, window and this is all those are stuff that you can change so mainly the ones that I use is the exposure now the problem with the exposure is once you once you upload the once you uh, put the exposure up you get some parts that start to get burnt so this is what I like about this, that you have this highlight burn and you can take the highlight burn down and make the exposure up, put the exposure up. And then you can add some contrast back. Okay, now the floor is, uh, on this part, is pretty burnt. I know that, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. The white balance, I love the white balance on the V-Ray. I prefer it better than the the one on, on Photoshop. It's made it's too complicated to do white balance. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying it's a little bit complicated. Here it's very simple. You can change the tone and the mood very easily. Now it's super modern, super clean, and here it's super intense and hot. So in this look we wanted to keep it pretty much clean and uh, and uh, cold. Pr a little bit cold, not cold. No, not so cold. Okay, the next is the hoop saturation is to change the colors. We not we I usually don't use it but like if you want, you know, and here you have a color balance to make it uh, make be more specific on on uh, uh, on on uh, each co uh, colors specific colors um, levels is good but I I prefer the Photoshop ones because uh, for some reason I tr I I try to I tr I mess it up every time so I don't use it so much curves it also works pretty well but the only thing is sometimes it's not perfect so let's let's try to work with the curves. Um, you click on the black uh, point and on the black point here and once you click on the black point you get this uh, small handle that you can, uh, a small busy air that you can uh, you know um, work with and manipulate and then also here so you can create like a small S but uh, Maybe we need to take some exposure down. Okay, so that's the curves. The only problems uh, problem I have you can see with with and without. So I think it adds some flavor into the. The only thing I don't like about it is when you scroll out, uh, you just get lost, and they should like give you a, a a button to click or something to make it a. Uh, um, a little bit easier with um, to get back to default. This is the only thing I can figure it out why they did it like this because you can mess it up really fast just with moving those points around. I don't know. So uh, I don't know how to get back to a uh, normal view and they should lock it. Like this is, I don't know what it is. Uh, background image, I couldn't really figure out how this works and as for those all. So just a quick summary, you can see here the, the carpet that we made. 
uh, with uh, the fur and here you can see all the the chanfer or whatever you say it the the how the the gold came out nice and the follow off on the sofa that you have here a little bit lighter material than the, the regular material here you can see the the nice shadows we got on on the on the wall from the light fixture and uh, I'll just uh, add now my uh, Facebook page so uh, if you guys uh, want if you do this uh, same uh, um, if you do this same uh, tutorial or whatever and uh, so you could uh, you can upload it in my Facebook or uh, send it to me, whatever it is. We're not done yet, but uh, I just want to uh, do this as well for now. One second here. So I had a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't uh, super smooth, but uh, I'm waiting for this to uh, finish so I can like finalize a few more tweaks and then uh, killing some time, killing some air. Uh, it would be nice to add here maybe a small vase or something like that, but you know, this is a very basic uh, tutorial of how to do uh, um, how to do this uh, here this is the first time we see the leather I think the leather is pretty nice because it's so bad material so we have all this grain but uh, I think the tiling the size of the, the leather is too small at least for me and the bump is too high but I'm not going to change it, at least now, not in this render, maybe in the final render when I do it. So uh, maybe I'll do it now for the final render. So I'll go to the material and um, we'll, uh, we'll select this. And bump, I'm going to put 0.75 and that's it. This will be the change that I'm doing for the final render. Um, yeah, so uh, if you guys uh, want to comment something or you have any question, uh, if you guys uh, have any questions or something that I can answer about any material or something, I'll be happy to answer. I think the photo came out uh, came out uh, in the background. The photo here. Let's. Uh, I'll try to. I'll just leave it alone. So I I feel like the the photo in the background came came out a little bit yellow. That makes sense. Uh, too yellow for me so I don't know maybe with the color correction you can uh, fix it and what else um, the uh, this uh, the light uh, the light curtain is way too transparent so I'm going to fix this also now And I'm going to put it up like and this is for the final render when I was going to do it um, on high quality uh, for for you know the thumbnail and nail and
I'm trying not to move it too much. I know it sometimes makes uh, the image uh, makes it dizzy, whatever, but it's okay. Now the the light, the li the line of the light, like around here, the light like stops. That's from the spotlights, so you can. You can um, make them the cones a little bit bigger to get more uh, light. Maybe also on the ceiling. Sometimes I have like a trick that I put two spotlights and one um, and two two spotlights and two spotlights and one uh, and one spotlight to make the ceiling lighter. Maybe I can show it now. Yeah, I can show it. Yeah, I'll show it that. So basically what I do when I want when I want also the ceiling to be light I go uh, and I take the spotlight I go into the spotlight let's say this is my spotlight yeah and I copy uh this uh I copy this on the blue axis on the z axis to around here and I mirror it minus one and now that I mirror it I'm, I take it and I put it spotlight and intensity I make it unique it's very important because then you make unique because then you control the also the other spotlight and then this one I'll put like 0 0.5 So now this one will be very uh this this spotlight will be very uh very um very mellow but will make the ceiling because we have a ceiling and it comes out dark and we don't want a dark ceiling. So that will make the ceiling a little bit lighter. But for 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 this render I'm not going I'm not going to re-render it again cuz I want to uh, continue talking about some other options that we have here and to see the denoiser and but uh, for the final render uh, we'll I'm going to uh, upload the for the final render I'm going to upload the final render I'm going to upload the with uh, the changes and you can see here we got some nice uh, shadows of the because the only light. The only thing I'm not hundred percent with is this line with the background line. Now, obviously, if you are uh, expert with Photoshop, so you can like you know put a nice uh, nice background and make it like work really well. But this tutorial is only, I try to keep it inside of uh, V-Ray and SketchUp, so this is what we got. And regarding the rendering progress, um, yeah, we almost uh, done. Yeah, we have uh, like 10%, uh, I guess. Yeah. Let's see. We have another 8.3. So uh, I'll just talk our uh, generic stuff. I'm an interior designer, and I work uh, partly in uh, in Israel, where I'm from, and partly in the U.S. Now I'm in the Israel for now, and I work also do some projects in the U.S. If you want me, I have a video that uh, explains my process designing how I start getting my ideas and putting it down and building the whole scene and if you want something like that just you know put on the comments I know this is a very long video and uh, it's almost wow to <laughs> it's a very long video yeah but um, Yeah, so uh, with that said,
you know um we can i can do more videos like this if this is too long we can maybe break it down to a few episodes but with me um maybe once a week something like that i was thinking maybe monday night um a little bit later i know the time wasn't perfect but i wanted to get started and you see i had a lot of problems with uh with uh, with the the stream so it's good that i started and i tried and that's the main part you know to to go ahead and take action that's the main part and now that i see it i think it would be very nice to put a, add a light on this uh where the where the curtain comes out but i'm not going to do it now uh, maybe led the strip yeah okay we're done our rendering is done let's see so underneath uh, underneath where it says uh, RGB we have all the 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 layers that we are uh, render so we have the material id this is very good for photoshop so if you want to select one color and make it lighter uh, or something like that you just uh you can with the magic wand tool just select it and we have here um the denoiser the denoiser um takes all the noise out so you can see now how nice and smooth so for example let's see this this is the this is the rgb very very noisy this is very low quality also and this is the denoiser very smooth very nice this is the rendering on the denoiser i came i think it came it came out pretty uh, nice and the d the death is also something you can use in photoshop um you can take this layer and um and use it and all the, all the other ones are pretty default and you can uh, use them if you know how to uh, I'm not sure on most of them now um, you can uh, to save so basically if you click the save you save whatever you see so let's say you want to save the denoiser you click save so now you're going to um, save the denoiser so this will, this will save the denoiser but let's say if you want to save all the all the layers that you want so you just click this one and then you go down to here and this will save all the layers so now we uh, saved all the all the layers and I want to so show another feature and I think this is also really cool so this is here on the lens effect settings so if you click the lens effect settings you get another tab on your left and the effect that I want to show is the bloom effect and this works only on the RGB and this is the bloom effect bo blo blo bloom <laughs> bloom and um, here you can uh, s play with the height and the scale and here you can with the sharp sharpness so this is uh, nice something may be subtle not so strong yeah a little bit more yeah. and we can always uh, use also the contrast here oh, this one doesn't work so well and once we are happy with what uh, so this is with, without, and with the bloom. I think it's add. This uh, makes some parts of the image too blurry. 
but uh, if you know how to control it, you can uh, work with it in uh, Photoshop. So this is it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, upload the uh, the the image and uh, let's save this one as well. Call it zero three. And here uh, I'm going to add one and let's do image and here let me just add something. Uh, I'll add. Okay, so here's another point uh, that I want to mention because uh, before I, I go, when you re when you save it as a PNG, you lose this background because uh, this is not a real uh, photo. This is this is like the HDRI. So if you want to save it and and to have an option then to um, uh, show, see it online, so uh, what you need to do is uh, save it as a JPEG. If you save it as a JPEG, you won't have this problem and you can add it. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to uh, upload this uh, so you guys can see what um, what we got. And this is uh, the render. It's very has a lot of noise and I'm um, sorry about that and this is the denoiser um, version uh, this is the denoiser okay so that's about it so uh, hey guys thank you for watching and I really appreciate a thumbs up if it was good and it was uh, and a comment you know how to improve for the future and um, thank you Thanks again. Thank you for watching, and let's uh, let's do it more often. You can uh, see when uh, when we have an event. Uh, I will uh, post it on my Facebook page if you're not my friend, and also uh, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.